I am 41 years old and my husband is 44 years old, I can't believe that after all we are going to break up because of problems that arose on social networks. I've been with my partner for 7 years. About 2.5 years ago he cheated on me. Now it was a really bad time in our relationship and I had even moved into the guest room for about 5 weeks at that point. We were both under a lot of stress and most definitely not getting along well. But still, I sure didn't think he would start having an affair. It broke so much, my heart, my trust. I started noticing little things via social media. This woman, who I don't know, started commenting on every post he made. He also never mentions me, but that is because why he posts constantly about world events his opinions, etc., he is really quiet about his personal life. When I investigated a bit I noticed that he was putting hearts on every one of her pictures that she posted. I asked him about her and he downplayed it. But of course I later found out he was knee deep in an affair at that time. Anyway, I stayed after finding out. He was extremely sorry blah blah blah. We did therapy but I remained triggered by social media. He tends to post jokes a lot or he'll post various things that just annoy me. He often sounds single in some posts. After a big argument last week over another bad post. Which I admit wasn't terrible but it was also a little crazy for him to post given his track record and knowing that I get triggered by things that make him look a little single, I gave him an ultimatum I guess. I told him he has to fix this that I'm sick of living like this and being triggered by his thoughtless social media comments. I said I have to heal more rebuild trust, and he has to learn better how to conduct himself on social media, since he cheated on me previously and social media is a trigger. For anyone interested, the post was, a woman posted that she gets sick of men only wanting her for her body. He posted saying, seriously? I'd love a woman to just use me for my body. Silly and not terrible I admit but keep in mind this is after several of these kinds of posts over the past 2.5 years that we've argued about. I told him that to fix this he needs to get off social media for now. He got very mad and told me I should get off social media and stop scrutinizing him. I reminded him that I don't post anything that could be taken the wrong way on social media. Then he said he can't have asterisk asterisk ning take it anymore and left. That was basically it. I should point out logistics, due to our circumstances, with extended family responsibilities, work, etc., he mostly stays at my house but maintains his own apartment, which he is at one week a month basically due to the location. He shoved a lot of things in his bag, took his laptop and left for work. I did expect him to come back, or at least contact me, but he hasn't since. That was over a week ago. I guess he's gone back to his apartment. So now I truly don't know what to do. I feel like maybe I should just let this die it's been 2.5 years of struggling. Of trying to rebuild trust and failing many times. Or arguing and hurt feelings. Of getting triggered. Of feeling insecure. Of hating social media lol. On the other hand I truly love him and I know he loves me as well and we have so much history. Any advice? TLDR. I get so easily triggered by my partner's behavior on social media and he keeps slipping up which triggers me and now he's left because I gave him an ultimatum. Comments 1. You don't trust him. There's not really anything you can do at that point. A relationship doesn't exist or work without trust and at this point you're only hurting each other. I understand that you love him but it's important to consider if the two of you can continue living like this for the rest of your life or if you're just giving in to the sunk cost fallacy. 2. You don't trust him, and you have every reason not to. He's not even trying he doesn't get to decide what triggers your distrust and your distrust around social media is completely reasonable, don't let him gaslight you about that. He gets to either care enough about the damage he has done to do what needs to be done to fix it or not. Sounds like he's chosen not OP. And as hard as this is to accept, that means he doesn't love you enough to give up something that puts your relationship at risk. He's not a good partner. You did good. You gave him a chance he isn't taking it beyond what's comfortable for him and that should tell you what you need to know. The rest is just placating you to get what he wants, to have his cake and eat it, too. I'm sorry OP. You deserve someone who matches your effort. Free. The comment you mentioned in your example is also, pretty cringe. 
A 44 years old grown man is commenting, I'd love for a woman to use me for my body, in response to somebody else's complaint of feeling objectified? Yeah, no, I'd leave right then. 4. Yeah, even without the additional context of his past actions that comment alone is creepy and gross. 5. I would say end it. He cheated on you, you gave him a second chance and instead of being thankful and working on the things you say you make you uncomfortable, he throws a hissy fit. You deserve so much better. 6. Just keep in mind, you're not breaking up over social media you're breaking up because he's not empathetic to the distress his cheating caused and you're not able to forgive or trust and honestly it sounds like you shouldn't. 7. Since the only person you can control is you approach this from that point of view. You can stop reading his stuff. You can acknowledge that trust is so broken between you two that fairly innocuous things he says are making you screwy. You can move on and find a happy relationship after you heal from this one. Or you can stay and continue to wish he was different than he is. I know what I would pick. 8. Forget about how long you've been together that has no bearing on the future. Regarding the issue you need to realize the issue isn't social media it's that you don't trust him. What you said he wrote means literally nothing. But the fact that it triggers you that you argue all the time about inconsequential things and that you're at the point of setting ultimatums means you're not over it. I'm not saying you should be because that's not something someone else can decide for you. But you need to figure out if you're moving past the cheating or not. You can't do both which is what you're doing. Have you been to therapy? Perhaps going to therapy can help you heal and focus on yourself to the be able to have a healthier relationship in the future. 9. This clearly isn't just over social media. Does the reason you were in the guest room for a while have anything to do with him clearly not caring about how his actions impact you? OP, pretty much. 10. Sounds just like the thing I was reading while being lied to. Also cheating is a decision and he knew what he was doing. I cheated in the past and I knew he did too leave him when you find the strength. Things won't change because he doesn't want them to. He likes the attention he gets from others. The right one is still out there. 11. The fact that he has his own apartment says a lot to me. Not necessarily that he's been cheating there. But it seems like you two have a distance between you like he's already living a quasi, separate life. Maybe has one foot out the door. Also, the history of cheating plus constant line stepping plus own apartment just seems too convenient emo. 12. It's not social media it's his actions of disrespecting your relationship and you, and it shows up while he's using social media. It very likely shows up in other aspects as well but your post is just focusing on the social media part. What that mean is if you start looking at the partnership that the two you have you're probably going to see more signs that he was trying to check out his relationship for a long time. So since he said the words and he walked away then let it be the end of the relationship.